All right, friends on YouTube, check it. Man, what is up with my autofocuser? Well, these are my new throwing knives I got from Bud K. They are the Forged Warrior. That's what they're called. Forged Warrior Thrower. They do not look shiny like that when you get them. I did a little bit of sanded on them to smooth them out right here because when you pull them in and out of the sheath it rubs on the button in here and it would sand it down the button and probably make it fall off so I sanded these down because the sheaths are good well worth uh, taking the time to fix your blades real quick but uh, so far I've been out through them for probably about an hour and a half and broke two tips right away and it wasn't a bad throw or nothing they were stuck in the the thing my uh, block just fine but as soon as I walked up and grabbed them and shifted it just like that the tips broke off in the block so <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell Bud K about it so my last knife I had I just went and busted the tip off and just filed them down and made them uh, blunt Let's see if you can see There we go. Yeah, they're super, th super thick tip now. We'll see if it breaks, but I'll keep going and adding more videos on them. Next time it will be me throwing them, but man, I really love these. I'd like to have these made out of spring steel so they'd last forever because I dig it. It just slides right off the fingers when you throw. Oh, it's so nice. You throw them anyway. I went and dulled the edges down so you could, you know, throw it by here however you want without worrying about anything. But so far I'm pretty happy because I got the buy one get one free deal. So that's what I did. I got those and the next year, I know me and a buddy went in on them. He got a couple, I got a couple. But all in all, I mean, I knew as soon as I seen that they were cast, casted, that they would break like that. Because cast metal always breaks like that. And, and through my experience in using all different kinds of metals. Trust me, I've broken all kinds of knives throwing them. I've yet to find a knife that I haven't broken. And some through just bad throws, inexperience. But I've got a lot of experience with my knives now, so usually when they break, it's because the metal's not good. But hey, I'm just like anybody else. My throws mess up a lot too. I have my moments of good throws and then bad throws. You know? I, be, I shine this one all up. Look at it. Sandpaper. Man, they throw good though. They just sink in. These things are so heavy. I'm throwing it down here like this. Just hucking it and it just buries. I mean, at least this deep. It takes a lot to get it out. And you just gotta slowly wiggle it so you don't snap it. <laughs> Worried about breaking the shit. But I'm gonna talk to some knife makers and see if I can have them make me some real knives like these. I mean, these are real, but I want some uh, spring steel knives. Like 5160, hardened, all that good stuff. Something that lasts me in my life. And I don't have to worry about breaking. I'm so tired of breaking my throwing knives. Because I throw far away, you know. The further you throw away, the more the chance you have of breaking your knives. Because when you do miss and mess up, when they hit, it's hitting hard. Cause I chuck them. I don't throw a light like a little, like a little guy. I mean, I, I really chuck these bad boys. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys. I think they're they are beautiful when they're all cleaned up. Super nice. Survival purposes, you could definitely tie this to a stick for a spear, no problem. 
<laughs> no problem, dudes. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just got done following the tips on them and fixing them. I'll take them back out and beat the hell out of them again. Um, hopefully this time I'll get some footage of me throwing them for you guys. Alright, thank you. And this is Boone, and I'm out. God bless.